guys, we're at, here at the 90. You can see where this 27 foot tarp drops right here. This 14 foot long tarp, I've been using it a lot. So this is probably the best thing I've ever did was this little baby tarp. So we're gonna get this unstrapped, untarped pretty quickly and try to get a load to go to SoCal. But easy square load, I love lumber loads. They're one of the easiest loads for us out here. So hopefully we'll get a good load for the weekend. All right, you guys, this is our load. Easy load. They load it pretty quickly. Two in the front, one in the back. Three in the middle, two there, and two in the back and one in the front. Um, fast uh, loading and uh, getting in, but the only issue was their uh, attitude. None of them seemed happy. They all hated their jobs. So, finish this in the rain. But if, this, if there was no rain here in Texas, I would have just drove this in. A lot of these lumber places that you see, it's going to get wet. This shed won't hold all the water. So most places you call them and say, can I tarp it or not? They'll tell you. So we are going to get this on strap quickly and get out of here. What's up, everyone? We're here in Cameron, Texas. It's about 2.30, 2.21. Got this prime driver in front of me. I think he knows where he's going. I haven't been here, but looks fairly easy. Uh, like I said before, we're going to do a two-stop load. Uh, my plan is to try to get this strapped and everything by 3:30. Uh, there's a T8 about 90 miles away before Fort Worth area. We're gonna stop there to shower. I haven't showered in two days, so I need a shower. <laughs> Uh, so if I can get shut down by 4.30, 5 o'clock, the latest, I'm gonna roll out at three. And if the receiving hours are like, until like 1500 tomorrow, uh, maybe I'll try to get both off. I don't know. So plans to get strapped first, head over to TA. I'm gonna make some phone calls, see what the receiving hours are, and then make a judgment. Uh, they have low, if they don't have good hours tomorrow, for the O2, I'm going to see if I can at least stay the night. Exit left to Industrial Boulevard, then turn sharp left. I've never, ever been here. This is the Charlotte Pipe. If you guys watch one of my videos, a uh, the Fort Worth video, uh, Charlotte Pipe Proceed that I picked up at Cedar City. In 460 feet, turn sharp left to Brave uh, I picked up in Cedar City. I'm like, why don't the Cameron, Texas Charlotte Pipe deliver here? And uh, it's right here. This is, you just saw, we just delivered to Fort Worth. I'm oh, not Fort Worth. Uh, what do you call it? I can't think right now. Uh, San Antonio. We just delivered in San Antonio and. And it's only about what, 130 miles here? So. I just don't understand why we're not hauling 100% out of here. So like always. Guys, we're gonna put three there. Gonna put two here. Yeah, we're gonna put this one right there. You see where the dunnage is right there? It's perfect. Okay. We'll one coming down here.
Okay, so we're gonna wake up early. Once we shut down, we're gonna roll out. Uh, I'm gonna try to get here and then to the 90. So that is gonna be the plan. I like the Charlotte pipe though. I just don't know why we're not 100%, but it's like we should. Should have closed these axles, but it's all good. I don't, I don't even know why they're open. I could stand at Cedar City, Utah, where you need it, but I just wish people closed the axles when they drop it. What's up, everyone? We're here in uh, Oklahoma, uh, probably five miles down the road. Uh, we had two bad tires. I'll show you guys on the video on my steers. So I was at the weight station, and all of a sudden, I start hearing like shredding like tire shreds like clunking inside in there so i pulled over once i got to the weight station and found out there's two bad steer tires so uh these guys got here pretty quick they got here about two hours we're not going to make the delivery today so it is what it is it was supposed to be due for friday anyways so i'm not really stressing about it but it'd be nice to get both loads off and then have a full clock on friday to pick up a load and drive but we're gonna try to stay at the O2, then it's only one hour down the road. So if we can get this one off and to get the 90 off, maybe by nine or 10 o'clock, uh, we'll get a good load going to Salt Lake. We gotta take these tires and hopefully get our money back. So we'll see. I'll show you guys the tires. So as you can see, these things are chunky. Look at that. Same thing here, you can see they were right here. I ripped all this off on the, this is the passenger side. What's up everyone? We're here at the O2 for the night. So with the steer going out, uh, I won't be able to deliver today like I want it. But hey, this place is cool. It's got everything here. It's got a really good barbecue place. They got Walmart, they got Hobby Lobby, Best Buy, like everything you can imagine in the city. And it's all walking distance. But they got a really cool like uh, barbecue place called Cox Road Barbecue. So we're gonna go there and get a beer and some food. This is why I always tell you guys to uh, stay the night um, at your shippers or receivers, especially if they're like in these cities. Um, Cause you can go out to eat, get some local food. I was trying to find a local pizza and beer, but for a barbecue food, I'm down. So uh, I enjoy these more than anything on the road. I uh, go walk around the city. So I went, um, I went to Best Buy, I went to Walmart, and I went to Hobby Lobby. I bought a couple stuff, so <laughs> you know. But try to stay at the shipper and receivers as much as possible, and uh, it's also good not to run your clock. So once they're unloading you, your clock's not starting for the next day is the other reason too. So we're gonna get some Cox barbecue as you see right here in the back, right there. We're gonna go there, get some food and beer, go to bed, wake up at six or seven. I don't know what time the receiving are, hours are. It's not on the door. So we'll probably just wake around at six o'clock. There's a Dunkin' Donuts here. So I'll probably go there in the morning. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Good morning, everybody. We're here at the 90. Uh, we have the tires. Can you see right back there? Right there. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna put those in the back. Uh, hopefully get a load of Salt Lake. So we can get those dropped off. I can get my bungee rope. I got packages delivered. And then I'm going home for next weekend. So kind of want to be in the West Coast area to get home for Probably going for like three or four days next week. So, uh, these are kind of my favorite loads because most of the places you go to, Ferguson's and these places, there's never really any trucks here. So, it's pretty fast unloads and get on the road. So, um, hopefully, an MBCI load is what I want that goes west. Preload trailer, you know, drive pretty quickly and get out of here. So, we'll see. 
we're gonna have to basically unload it. I'm gonna put my deep part in right now. Usually halfway I do it, and hopefully we'll get a good load. So we'll see. What's up everyone? We're here in Belmont in Valley, Nebraska. Uh -oh. Where'd we go? Oh, to the side. Okay, uh, trucks, trucks, cars, cars. Uh, this is the one, yeah, I've been here uh, during TNT and I've been here one or two times by myself. Okay. A lot of these are just like sprinkler systems or light poles and all that kind of stuff. Might get a sprinkler system. We'll see. Let's go check in. Go off duty. Shut the front door. That's it. <laughs> Fuck yes. All right. I know what we're going to do. Look at that shit. <laughs> that makes me happy. It almost seems unreal. Okay, first we're gonna put Static right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, we're gonna put one, probably two here in the front. Just want to hold it. Um, put two right there where the boards are. So there's one already there. Put one more in that back. So we'll do two, three, four. Let's see how it goes. I just put one here in the front because there'll be enough straps holding it. Okay. Put two on this. I'm oh, so fucking excited! Here. 
we're gonna do is, since we got these all rolled up, we're gonna drag it over there since I have the tires, and then we'll uh, tighten it. <laughs> I can't stop smiling, dude. This is the easiest load. <laughs> and I had to put this many straps, but I just want to. <laughs> Good technically just put four. Technically, that pallet right there, you can put one. This weighs nothing. This is going to be like uh, driving all the way to California, half uh, empty. Get like nine miles a gallon. It pays well. Now it's going to pay very well with the fuel so I'm really excited what's up everyone we are here in San Dimas California uh, it's about 11 o'clock I got home again for a 34 uh, went out with the girl and her daughter love love going home Uh, the plan is drop this off. We're gonna try to get a load to CC. I got a windshield crack, pretty big. I have like four or five windshield cracks, but they're small. But this one's spreading across. Uh, I also need to drop the tires off that I had the issue with. And then, um, and again, oil change. Get a truck wash. So we're gonna spend probably a day at the terminal get a lot of the things done and then get a load from CC back to home and take the weekend off again for like three or four days so that is the plan like I said before I've been maybe four times done a 34 on the road the rest of the time this year it's been at home uh, this one I didn't ask to be home so he just gives it to me and, and I take it So I'm hoping I get the coil load to Salt Lake and then have an easy day today. Everything's getting done with the truck on Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, so. Call this guy, make sure. And then what, stay left when I go in? Okay, all right then. All right, thank you. Where do you want? Where do I go? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right, you guys, here's the load. We did uh, three straps right here in the front. Uh, this cardboard and all this paper, I've been picking at it. It's been falling apart here. But we did three on each bundle. As you can see, these are really nice, but like this kind of stuff looks all trash some of the lumber looks pretty bad too as you can see right here i don't know this plywood is just looks like this i don't know but yeah so it looks like it's been transferred to this place and then they put it on my truck but we're gonna get this tarped and uh hopefully home depot will take this crappy ass load but you guys we're here at the salt lake terminal so what we're gonna do is we got the yard tarps up there with the fork those things are like 130 pounds I'm gonna roll it to the back back there get this front tarp off and then roll it back once we pull this off uh, they only want to strap on each bundle so I got six and they give you a bunch of bungees so what I'm gonna do is 
when you guys drop a load off, just close the flap. So I'll put like four bungees to close the wing and probably two or four bungees to close the flap. And then just like I have it right now, you wanna put maybe four or five bungees on each tarp on each side. So for me, that's gonna be 10, probably back there we'll put three, that's 16. Plus up there, we're gonna put uh, another 16. So I asked for 30 bungees. Looks like they gave it to me. But kind of respect your other next driver. Don't overkill it, because then they're gonna have to do more work. Uh, you just wanna make it where no rain will get inside. And, um, but quick enough to take the bungees off. You put like 50 bungees on this thing, and they gotta work all that stuff. You just want enough to get the tarp from falling down and just close the flaps. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we got tons of stuff to do. I got a filter that my boss gave me to, for them to put in. I gotta get a truck wash. I gotta get my packages. I gotta do this job. Um, and then tomorrow we gotta get an oil change and cabin filters and all that. So we're gonna be here for a little while. We got a lot of shit to do. So I'm gonna try to get this done as quickly as possible. And I gotta take a shower and I gotta do laundry. Shit. Uh, and right now it's about 6.30. So I need to get this done. We'll see you guys on the next video. All right, you guys, to pair these tarps pretty easily, what I usually do is use this simple green and I just spray around it to get all this dirt off. And then I use a scrub daddy or you can use any sponge and I just clean the whole surface like this. You just wanna get all that stuff off. Okay. If you guys are with Prime, they will give you uh, that tarps. Buy a couple of these, depends what tarps you have. And uh, they have black and blue. You can buy whatever you need. And uh, keep the budget on. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, so then I'm doing this right here in the sun. You guys want to just grab a paper towel. Just let this dry off. It won't take long. So I tell people try to do these in the summertime. See how that's dry pretty quick. The sun will heat it. Okay. So You guys will get a thing of this. And I did have some scissors. What I usually do on this is I put the glue on here, around it. a lot if you want to it doesn't hurt it you gotta be pretty quick at it because it does dry pretty quick and i'm just gonna put this whole thing on there so you guys just dab this on here i cover the whole thing put some there and you're just gonna flap it on there just like that okay what i usually do is just step on it just give it a couple minutes it dries pretty quick Okay. You see how that's already nicely sealed in there already. It dries really nice. You see that? And then what I do again is I put a little bit more uh, simple green and I just scrub around, just make sure there's no glue. So when I fold it, it's not going to stick to it. Okay. Now I just make sure all these corners are glued in like right now it's good and it will fold on top and it should dry some more should be good to go there's another one right here it's not too bad uh i'm gonna do this later because i'm gonna cut these in little pieces and i'll do this next on another load i just want to get that one covered because it's the bigger one but you can it's best to do it this on a on a load kind of easier but both ways work so we're gonna get this finished 
and get out of here. What's up everyone? We're here at the Fontana yard. I'm waiting on my next load. Uh, I did all the editing for this video and I decided so we can get caught up. I've been a week behind on videos. I just seems like I can't catch up. Uh, I put to Louisiana Pacific, which is from Carriage, Texas to San Antonio. Uh, I put the Charlotte Pipe, which went from Cameron, Texas to Topeka, Kansas. The Velmont Industry, which was those pipes, that simple, easy load. That was from Valley View, uh, Valley View, Nebraska to San Dimas, California. And then I did the Swanner Hardwood, which was... Um, was our Burbank, California to the yard. Um, then after the, after I dropped that, the yard, because I told them I would be home for the four days, which I was on, uh, they told me to drop it off, but it was going to Colorado. It would have been a good load because it paid pretty well. I don't mind doing that load. Just sucks it's like all the way in Van Nuys uh, area. So a lot of traffic in back. So if you can hit that like around 10 a.m. and get out, uh, it'll work. And then, uh, so we went there and then I got the Charlotte pipe load, which went to Van Nuys. Um, I dropped that off and went home. So it all worked out. Put all these videos together because I need to catch up. I want to make some cool videos for you guys. Uh, so I'm start. I bunch them all together. So they're all going to be pretty quick videos. So hopefully it's not too much for you guys. Um, our next load right now, which is uh, what is it? Coils going to MBCI. Uh, you guys see enough videos, but I'm going to do a video on that uh, because I'm going to use my bungee rope. So. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching our next load. So, I mean, yeah, I'm going to get my trailer, uh, which is in the yard. Um, just trying to read this information. Uh, I'm going to get my trailer and then, uh, head over there and then try to get past like maybe Littlefield or maybe try to get all the way to Cedar City. I'm not sure because of traffic. We'll see how everything works out. So if you guys, uh, I know Prime, I got a couple guys that tried to apply for Prime, got denied. Prime's not really hiring a lot, so be patient. Uh, if you guys have the time where uh, you're not in a rush to get to be a truck driver, just be patient right now. Uh, it is very hard and um, just keep applying. And um, my recruiter is in my description. Uh, he will give you updates if you apply and he denies you just keep updating or ask him why you know he'll they'll tell you all the information so uh but if you guys need any help like you're still stuck just reach out to me um i will help you guys out so i'm gonna get this trailer get this load i'll see you guys on the next video stay safe peace out